G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at Enter the Chronosphere, which is another game that has featured on the Steam Endless Replayability Fest, which is uh, basically a little event to feature roguelikes and that sort of thing. So this is a demo of a game that isn't quite out yet, as you'll see on the screen right now, it's just an alpha stage, just to test out the core gameplay. Maybe buggy, but certainly isn't finalised. Let me hopefully just control this volume a little bit, give me one second. That's probably a little bit better. Okay, let's have a look. Select a character. Lily Pilly. Okay, not in the demo. What's that a little lizard? Chew, which is a, what is this? A spider bot. Zine and Zuma. Salami. Oh, Salome, what is this? Pigman or is it a mask? Anyway, interesting characters. So in the demo we have Urta. Thick skinned, heal one damage when hurt by a hit. Heal one damage when hurt, okay. Kinetic Surge. And Marcia, Marcia, depending on uh, her preference. Accuracy up after using your active ability or dodge roll. Okay, we'll start with that one. So this game is essentially a polished modern look at a traditional roguelike is my understanding it's an action roguelike turn-based bit of bullet hell but we will uh we'll get to all that in a moment so moving takes one turn right click to move okay that's my turn you can attack with your held weapon hold mouse left to aim release to attack okay so as you can see every action i take the enemy moves just like a traditional you know rogue like game um Let's move there, I'll shoot you. Oh, you shot me back, that's rude. What are we aiming for? <laughs> okay, so that's how far my bullet travels in one turn, that's cool. I'll take that, scimitar. Your equipped weapon has a combo attack. Combo weapons change their behavior when attacking on subsequent turns. Attack two times in a row to do a combo attack. Okay, cool. You have a weapon in your holster. You can swap weapons to bring it to your hand with Q. It does take a turn by the looks, which I guess all these little spinning elements in the map will indicate. Oops, didn't mean to shoot. Let's take that. And where are we going in here, I guess? Your character has an active and passive ability in the bottom left. Hover over your abilities to see what they do. Okay, so adrenaline was focus. Accuracy up after using your active ability. Dodge roll. Dodge in a direction avoiding attacks. So A to aim. I was meant to hold that. Okay. Uh, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. Nice. Walked into it. There's a chest over there. Oh. Being shot at. Got him. <laughs> like that. Uh, okay. Can't go that way, I guess. Oh, I need to reload. Oh, that's what the little yellow bar was. Okay. Just gonna dodge out of the way. Nice. Nothing up there. Make my way around. That's close. Can I reload now? Yes. I have to remember to do that. Okay. And power attacks every third turn. Grenade gadget launches grenades. When it runs out, it goes on cooldown 12 to assemble more. Reduce damage taken by the number of items you have cooling down. Gotta go grenades, don't you? You have an aimable item. Using it will take a turn. Hover over your items to see what they do. I mean, I might uh, use this to try and kill the enemy to proceed. There was one up here, wasn't there? Thought I saw. Could be wrong. 
might not know with this. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so do that, do that, and run. There we go. You can quick draw your holstered weapon. This swaps your weapons and attacks in the same turn. Hover over, hover your weapon to see its unique quick draw attack. Combo lunge forward, draw. Lunge forward with the twirling slash. So if I say E, okay. Draw, fire, and step back. Okay, that's cool. What have we got here? A kunai. Don't want to swap that. Throw bullet cutting knife. Really? Okay, that's not bad. Maybe I should... What does draw do? Retreating knife throw. So... Maybe I'll swap the scimitar for the gun. Then I still have a melee and a... a ranged weapon. And the kunai being able to slice bullets is intriguing. Yes, that's what we want. That's awesome. Yes. Love to see it. Beautiful. So can I do this? Whoops. Lovely. Even though it's turn-based, it does make you feel like a badass. Especially when you're doing stuff like that. Oh, push the wrong button there. Lovely. What is this? A clockwork rifle. That's an enemy. Uh, let's see here. Piercing fire, rapid fire, very rapid fire. Lunge right and fire. Let's just give it a try. Wow. Tell you what, I haven't used my sword at all. I'm keeping the kunai. Reload. Nothing else there. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a funny thing. Like you think a turn-based old classic style of roguelike is going to be dull, but this actually makes you feel like a bit of a badass, to be honest. Very satisfying. Looks good, plays really well. The walking is a little bit tedious, but I think I just uh, it's part of the part of the deal with roguelikes that are done oh in the uh, traditional way. I'm gonna roll. How do I roll again? Uh, uh, a. Oh no, sorry, cow. Whoopsie, killed the cow. Can get him, okay. Nice. Can't do anything there, I assume. Stabilizer. Was that his health? Ah, oh, I have two, okay. I have to remember to use those when my health gets lower. Walked into a bullet. Smart. Ah, oh, 
I wasn't meant to click that. There's again. To run away. <laughs> that worked out alright, actually. Lured them into the uh, choke point. I wish you could uh, zoom out a bit. It's probably for balance reasons. He doesn't want to die, does he? Will heal now. I need to stop walking into bullets, ideally. What's in here? Powder horn alpha. Last bullet explodes. 50% chance to reload a single bullet each turn. And power projectiles on ricochet. First ricochet each turn fires bullets. Do I have ricochets? <laughs> I'm not seeing any ricochets. Do I have to activate it? No. In that case, I've got no idea. It looks like there's a gun up here I can loot. Oh, I've got some enemies coming. Very nice. Revolver. The cow's enemies. Oh, I'm not giving them a chance. <laughs> a trick shooter. Fires a bouncing bullet. Alright, let's try this. Oh. That's good. Holy moly. That's dangerous. Holy hell. So that's just, so the bullet ricochets and then shoots out more bullets and they just bounce around. It's chaos, I love it. <laughs> I'll end up uh, causing myself more harm than good, most likely, but it's fun. It's fun. All right. All attacks are incendiary in this level. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Stop. Stop. What have I done? <laughs> I'll switch back to the clockwork rifle. For now. Holy moly. So I'm trying to work out what's happening. So that revolver ricochets. And then every ricochet empowers the projectile and then fires more bullets out, which can they ricochet as well? Could it be an endless loop? Possibly. Guys, what else have we got in this level? There's an item over there. I'll go have a look. I like these enemy designs too. Little wheelie birds. A jitter bomb. An unpredictable bomb that explodes three times. Let's see. That's someone shooting at me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go on the chaos build, I think. Which is silly because I will end up hurting myself. 
but damn it, it's fun. Let's give this another try. So I could really... Oh. <laughs> Here's another gun. Oh, it's my clockwork rifle that I dropped into mine. Alright, let's move on. Oi, 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 oi. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. Do I have any healing left? No. What is the switch? Throw bomb while retreating. No, I don't want to throw a bomb. Right now. Jesus. <laughs> this is a bad move. Gonna get my own explosive. <laughs> All right, I reached six floors in 14 minutes, 815 turns for 70 kills. Wow. Okay. So if there's more uh, synergies and weird weapons like that, I reckon this game could have quite a bit of depth and replayability to it. I'm gonna try the other character now, Urta. He claims to be retired from a life of adventure. However, he charges headlong into combat, striking off wounds and smashing through trivial obstacles like people and buildings. So I can slam the ground, destroying most projectiles and sending enemies flying, so that's good, like a last ditch effort to defend myself. But I heal one damage when hurt, so I don't know how that works exactly. And what weapon do I have? Just a pistol? Did I heal then? I have no idea. Heal one damage when hurt by a hit. Don't know. Wasps. Release wasps. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with the wasps. Okay, they're weak, but they home in. Is that a kunai again? See you later, pistol. The rock on the wasp and kunai build. They do home in around corners as well. Yeah, good luck to you guys. Everybody's getting bees. Oh, rough. Okay, what else? There's a tre treasure chest or something down here. I'm not sure with the bees is they're a little bit, or the wasps, they're a little bit weak. Empower attacks every third turn. Reduce the damage taken by the number of items you have cooling down. Every four turns, you are highly accurate and powerful. I guess I'll have killing time. Oh, yeah, empowered wasps, there you go. I don't know exactly what that does, maybe it just makes the attack damage stronger. Lovely. Get out of the way. You'll love to see it. Okay. I do like the indirect fire stuff. And the wasps are a lot less uh, harmful to me than the previous options. <laughs> Another chest here, what have we got? All bullets within 12 meters are frozen and destroyed 12 turns later. Fling knives in a radial sequence. 
death clock. Was that just a use skill? How do I use it? Fling knives. Can I? Oh, I see. I see, I see. As I walk, it just shoots around. I don't know how I didn't notice that immediately, but anyway. There's something down there. What is that? Clockwork rifle, a pauber. That's pauping time. Launch a pauber. Okay. Uh, what does it do? Oh. Well, okay. It's nice because they don't explode backwards, meaning they're not going to hurt me. That's so terrifying. Let's get pawbed. These voice lines all of a sudden are terrifying. Oh, a shield. Um, wasps. Oh, Jesus. Got a heal. What floor am I on? Four. Don't remember this difficulty ramping up like this last time. that. Right, so this just escalated. All the screaming and the chatter now is genuinely um, concerning. <laughs> Are they plorbs? Are you plorbing me? Of uh, area control here. Damn it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, looks like there's another gun over here. Grenade, look out. Good waspies. An Uzi. Just to see what it does. Right. <laughs> okay, it's a bit crazy. I think I'll keep the uh, Porba.
Oh, you're not supposed to hit me. Repeatedly. Fire extra bullets in all directions when attacking. That sounds dangerous for the orba. No, oh, they're just regular bullets. Oh. Alright, that's it. Um... There you go. That's pretty cool. We might have to keep the wasps out for a bit because I am just my own uh, worst enemy at the moment. I like that. <laughs> I wish all the bullets were wasps as well. It'll be a little bit overpowered, I think. Is that another pauper? No, oh, I didn't see his bullet. I need to be a bit more careful. See. Get that guy, get this guy. There's the portal. There's a chest over here somewhere. Come on. Not that way. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna use my ability. What is it? A kinetic surge, that's right. Shoot me. Okay. Every four turns you are highly accurate and powerful. All bullets within 12 minutes are frozen. He launches grenades. You need to have a grenade launcher in your life, I think. What am I on floor five? So I haven't even made it to where I got to with Marcia. 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 The last character. Grenade four. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. quite like these wasps. Just up there. I think I just hit something behind me. Nothing a few dozen wasps can't handle. Oop. This feels a bit cheap actually. Indirect fire, it's quite powerful. What is that? Locks me in. Right, boss fight. What's happening? Time's frozen. 
Go waspies, go. Oh, just sat there and took that. The irony of a uh, wasp themed boss going down to my waspies is uh, not lost on me. What the? What's happening? What is happening there? Shoot my own wasp back against me. Holy moly. Oh, that's terrible. That means every time I shoot, all those bullets come out in a radius. They'll immediately turn around and double back on me. How am I supposed to survive that? So I could like shoot that way. No. Um, ability. Nope. Do I need to swap? Oh my god. Oh no. No. God, okay. So that boss is a hard counter for spam. When your character shoots bullets in every direction every time you fire or move, you don't have much hope, I guess. Interesting, we had six floors again. A lot more kills this time though. Interesting. Alright, I might leave it there. This was just a, a quick look at this game into the Chronosphere. So the demo is available now on Steam as part of the uh, Endless Replayability Fest. So I'll put leave a link in the description. You can go check it out. It's actually quite fun. So go uh, go check out the demo and chuck it on your wish list. And keep an eye on this one when it comes out. I think it'll be really good, especially with uh, a handful of new characters to uh, come along with that as well, which will all have unique skills and play styles as well. Yeah, so definitely one to watch. Uh, once again, I'm Faintly Saintly. Thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And uh, thanks again. I will see you next time.